Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bonnie and welcome to Bonnie Beauty Hub. All right, so I am already here with the foundation to try it out. So when I was picking up this product from Tarte, I was thinking, do I want to get into the Tarte brand? Because Tarte comes out with a lot of products. They come out with product, I think, at least every month, if not every week. So they are like the higher end version of ColourPop who also comes up with so many products. Oh my God, we, can, we can't just keep up with them. But this pro there's something about this product that was just calling my name. I had, I had to pick it up. Maybe because of the claims where they say it is a natural matte finish, soft focus finish, and mainly because of the packaging. So Tarte, though they come out with a lot of products, they always are innovative with their packaging. And this packaging is not less than anything else. It is so pretty. It looks like a pearl but it has a very iridescent unicorny sheen to it it's very very pretty and the edges are all rose gold it comes with a mirror and here is the powder foundation and it i think this is their basic print most of the powder products has this print on them and it's mentioned tart and this retails for I'll, I'll tell the details later on i picked it up in the shade 42 neutral so I have my concealer on because when you're wearing a powder foundation, concealer, you know, it's a liquid product. So lay out the liquid products first and then layer the powder on top of it. And that is what we've done. I have my concealer on. It comes with a sponge and I normally like the sponge that comes with the product. It's sealed, so I'm gonna open it up. As I was saying, I like the sponge that comes with the product. This is a little unique because the sponge is very, very, very thin. Very, very, very thin. And it's nice, it's easy to hold. And I think you can also put it inside and close it. Oh yes, that is perfect. So if this really works out, I think this is, I normally don't use foundations for touch up because it looks very cakey, but we can try out how this looks. So. If it works well, we can use this for touch-ups as well. All right, so as usual, I'm putting my hair behind. Let me touch up my concealer once again before I lay down the powder products to it. I don't have a primer, but I have my sunscreen on. So normally sunscreens do work as a very good primer. First one side I'm gonna do with the sponge. I'm gonna take one swipe. It's picking up a lot of product and let's see. Oh wow. I think the color is also a good match and it is applying a good amount of product. However, it is taking off the concealer that I was wearing. So let me just bring you closer. I don't know if you can see, but there was a little bit concealer over here and concealer till here. It has taken off the concealer. So I'm not gonna go very close to my under eye. I'm just gonna use it only till here. And then later on, I'm gonna blend it out with an under eye setting powder. Okay, so let's, let me just finish up one side. I actually love the color match. It's really good. And I can actually see it. It's, it's giving me a very soft, finish a very smooth finish on my face and I've just done one layer on the other side I'm going to use a nice kabuki brush so this is from BH Cosmetics it is from the uh, kit that they had for weekend vibes and it's brush number two so I'm going to grab this is just one so I'm going to do one more oh yeah I feel the brush is easier for me to wear and also it's not moving my concealer that much. So with a brush, what actually is happening is it's not taking off my concealer because I'm not dragging the product around. So I'm just pressing the product into my skin, which is giving me the same finish as I have this side with the sponge, but it is not moving my concealer. Wow, I think one layer is more than enough for me, but just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do one more layer with the brush all over my face. I think I definitely like wearing it with a brush. It, it looks so much 
better. You can see the difference between my concealer and my foundation but this side it looks a little more blended because it hasn't moved the concealer a lot. So I definitely like wearing it with a brush. The time right now is 12.01. 12.02? Okay. And I am going to do my full face of makeup and I'll be right back. But I'm trying. It says it's a 16 hour long wear foundation. I don't know if I can wear it for 16 hours. But there is a possibility I might end up wearing it for at least 16 hours. Because it's the 1st of January and you don't know what's going to happen tonight. <laughs> so I'll definitely try to wear it for at least 8 hours. And so let me just finish my full face of makeup and we'll talk a little bit more about this foundation. Okay, so I am back with my full face of makeup and I wanted to show you the time. It is 12.17 and it's for 5 minutes I've been just trying to figure out a few things. So it hardly took me 10 minutes to complete my full face of makeup. And that is when I was doing something else as well. But the makeup went so seamlessly, it is so smooth and it is actually giving me a really natural look, a very natural finish. I didn't want to go overboard, I've done a very minimalistic natural look but so far I'm loving it. I haven't set this with a spray, normally when I use a lot of powder products I set it with a spray but I'm, I'm so confused. I don't want to set it with a spray. I just want to see how it works. So in today's video, I'm not going to do anything else. I'm just going to see how it works on my skin type. And then maybe on Instagram or somewhere, I'll try to wear it with a spray and see if it works any different. But so far, I'm really loving the way it sits on my skin, the way I'm able to apply all the other products on my skin. So before the end of the day, let me give you at least a little bit more information about the product. So this comes in 21 shades, which is not bad for a powder foundation because powder is a little bit flexible. It's a little bit flexible than a liquid foundation because it matches a lot of other skin tones as well. Two to three skin tones can wear one type of powder. And this retails for $39. So nowadays all foundations are almost the same price. So see you soon. Okay, I am here, but I'm not for my final check-in. It has been six hours so far. We started it at, why isn't it focusing? <laughs> we started at 12 noon and right now it's 6.13, which is six hours. Good. So, so far I am loving it. It looks beautiful. Um, over this area, there's a little bit of oil peeking through, but otherwise the foundation hasn't moved at all. If you can see, the foundation hasn't moved at all and I'm so impressed that this is a powder foundation. It hasn't dried up on my skin and it's not clinging on to any dry patches. It's the winter time, I do have dry patches. It's not clinging on to any dry patches and it's, it's still giving me not a matte, super matte look, a natural matte look. I am pretty sure I'm going to do at least a 10 hour wear test today because right now we're getting ready to go out for dinner. As I told you, I'm recording this on the 1st of January. So, we're going out for dinner and I just wanted to do a touch up. And so far it's really, it's really, really looking good. So, I'm just taking the sponge that I used this morning and I'm going to use the side where I dipped the foundation, the powder. I'm just going to press over here and take off the excess oil first. Oh, that did a good job. Look at the shine here and look at this. It has immediately taken off the shine and it's still not settling into my pores. The shine that you can see over here, that is my highlighter, but it's basically the shine at this area of my face is the oil that's being through. I look brand new now. <laughs> All right, so now that I've taken off the excess oil, I'm gonna use the same brush. Just, I'm not gonna drag it, I'm just pressing it once, taking off the excess, and just patting a very little amount on my face, wherever I felt that there was oil peeking through. Oh wow. I look pretty good. I look brand new. So I'm gonna touch up everything else. Touching up my under eye, adding a little bit of bronzer, some more blush and some highlighter. I think I'm also gonna switch my lipstick. I'm just surprised how easy this all was. 
So, so far it's going really good, but I'll definitely come back by the end of the day and we'll talk a lot more about this foundation. I am back for my final check-in. I am so tired. <laughs> the time is 11.51, so it's exactly 12 hours. All right, so I wanted to do an eight, eight hours wear test, but we were able to do 12 hours. And this is a 16 hour foundation. So I'm looking at myself in the mirror and taking a closer look. My concealer is a mess, but that's not what we're going to talk about because I was trying some other concealer. Mm, so I'm not worried about the concealer. The foundation itself, oh my God, it looks amazing. I just want to give you a closer look as how smooth my skin looks even after 12 hours and I just did one touch up. I am loving it. I don't see my pores. What pores? Where pores? I don't see any pores. I don't see it settling into any of my fine lines like my smile lines or I do have a little bit of line on my forehead. It is not settling anywhere and it's giving me the smooth blurred matte but not flat look it is amazing one of the best best powder foundations that i've tried so far and i'm so happy i gave it a try it's so good to see a powder foundation which gives you a natural matte finish and it also hydrates and keeps your foundation in place all day long during winter when we have dry skin wow that is a miracle after a very very long time i found a powder foundation that exactly matches my skin tone exactly not yellow not too white not too pink not too pale it is exactly matching my skin tone and i'm loving it it is giving me a very natural look oh my god i'm going to repeat the same thing again and again in short i love this foundation totally totally worth the buck if you have been eyeing this foundation or if you've been looking for a matte foundation that is matte but does not make you look flat i think this is the one you can definitely give it a try from me it is a total thumbs up so that is it from my side thank you for watching till the end if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you very much and i'll see you all in my next video Bye.